drawing out the legs. And of course, there's only one song you can have in your head when you're drawing legs. And you better know what that is from Eliminator. You know what I'm talking about. She knows how to use them to kick robots in the head. All right, welcome to another Drawing with Mark. This is Mark, and I'm high on coffee, like usual. And what I'm doing today is inking this pencil sketch of Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, which will be a print. And this was originally one of the stretch goals for the Best of Classic Game Room film. And she's getting her own book soon. There we go. Woo. What is life without a utility belt to hold your ninja stars? And here we see a close-up of the pencil lines. This is what I'm calling her weekend warrior outfit. It's going to be the white outfit. Uh, most of what you see me draw is her black outfit for the, um, the space station assault scene in the comic book. And this is going to be from uh, for a different part of the book with the horned helmet and her uh, armor and her pants are going to be white in this one. And then I'm going to draw a bunch of wreckage and bodies in the background smoldering and it'll be fun. So. What I'm going to do is, uh, well, I first started a new layer, which I'm going to start uh, with her helmet and her hair and whatnot. And this is one of the first uh, first outfit drawings I've, I, I did of her. I've kept the arms pretty much the same, just the way the um, I, I, I based her. She has robot arms. She's a cyborg. So I based them pretty much on her muscle structure. And of course, I like the arm, you know, the arm, armored arm plates and stuff. And in this scene, she's got two swords. And uh, she does, the belt is pretty similar to what I've been drawing in the other outfits, and she can hook on her samurai swords, or a knife, or grenades, or whatever, lasers. And uh, this one, she's got a shield, a face shield. And I'll be doing another one that you'll see soon for the Ethel the Cyborg Ninja Kickstarter, where she'll be wearing her space mecha battle suit. So I've actually got sheets filled with character diagrams laying around here. Uh, just last night, I was putting together a uh, the blueprints from for the inside of her spaceship, which has a name, by the way. It's secret. Her father was searching for something mysterious and discovered it. And uh, she was a kid with her dad at that time, and her dad was. Uh, the universe's greatest bounty hunter. So she was raised by the greatest bounty hunter in existence. Trained to fight, trained to survive. And her dad was looking for something, but it went wrong. And at some point, they were separated. Originally, I had a wire going from her neck, but I'm doing away with that. That seemed unnecessary and also somewhat cliche. So, she's a cyborg, but she does not have a wire going to her neck. When writing the character in the book, I want people to go into it I'm not sure if she's going to win because there's no guarantee she will. You know, it's going to be a series for one thing, at least I hope it will. I have plans for that. Um, and, and we don't know. I mean, she gets her ass kicked pretty early on. Uh, she has flaws, but, but she's quirky and fun. It's, it's a class, it's one of my books. It's from the classic game room universe. So it's supposed to be a comedy crossed with an action science fiction adventure that takes place in space. There, there will be robots and lasers and aliens and giant monsters and mecha battle suits and ninja action and machine guns and swords and knives and you know all kinds of good fun stuff right so art comes secondary to writing but uh, the art in a way has to sell the writing in fact the art definitely has to sell the writing and uh, that's what I'm doing here alright after a bit of inking 
Here's how the picture of Ethel the Cyborg Ninja is turning out. Not the final. Got a long way to go, but you can see the main lines are in place. Um, probably can change the one line on her helmet. And I'm uh, actually pretty happy with that face drawing of her. I tend to go from, uh, I'm not sure what you would call it, but like a drawing like this in one panel to the next one is just like a goofy, cartoony panel. I mean, it's meant to be a, a fun, kind of silly adventure, the, the Ethel the Cyborg Ninja book in any of my books. I don't write serious drama. Never been any damn good at it, so I don't even try. If you're not smiling while reading it, then either I haven't done my job or it's just not for you. One or the other. But uh, that's, I'm going with this, like a black, her arms are generally black because she's got cyborg arms. And uh, whether or not she's wearing sleeves, of course changes that. But we um, have the shoulder pad, like the tricep guard, and then she's got a mesh coating over the robotics. And I don't draw this in every panel of the book, but in this, for the print, I'm, I'm drawing it in pretty good detail here. I mean, this is what the meshing looks like. Because it's flexible. I mean, she's got real arms there. They would flex. They would move like human arms. And I'm doing the hand last. Uh, hands are by far the hardest things to draw. I've got them blocked out, so I know where, the, where they're going to go. I drew her, her legs. And... Um, she typically would have a, a race, <laughs> call it a racing stripe, a racing stripe on her legs. And her black outfit's kind of neat because they go up and then around her back, but in this one I'm just going to have them terminate at the belt. And then since she's wearing uh, one of her cyber vests, which is just a working term, the cyber vest, I'm going to have some wires here in the back because this is actually meant to connect, this piece connects to something else. She's got some more armor. Here's a rough page of the book in progress where... She's inside of her spaceship with the unnamed secret name. And uh, she's talking to the computer about something that happened in these scenes before this. And here's a wide shot where she's sitting inside of, um, it's not the cockpit, it's like the hold of the ship. And I have a blueprint of this off camera, sort of, um, sort of a blueprint, but you can walk this way and go to one part of the ship, or you can walk this way and go to another part. If you go straight back, you go into the cockpit. But, um, I'm going to draw this uh, in layers. So I'm going to have a, an ethyl layer and a background layer because I want flexibility when finishing and changing things. And in the end, of course, they all get uh, combined. I'll start with Ethel. This is, one, this is a, a cartoony drawing of Ethel. A little different than the one that you saw me drawing earlier. So I'll just do a quick uh, outline here. Here I am the next day back at it, finishing the Mecha Mono Tremata print where I'm drawing the foreground now, all these people running away from Mecha Mano Tramata, who's breathing fire on them and stomping on them, as well as kicking over trash cans. I like this guy. What I'm doing here is drawing this sea of people in the background being mauled by Mecha Mano Tramata. We'll put his tail on fire. Wrong color. There we go. Jesus the coked up chicken making a cameo with his ass on fire in the Mecha Mono Tremata print. <laughs>